The Mysterious History of the Blobfish. Psychroludes marcetus, otherwise known as the blobfish, is a fish that many know of simply from the fact that it is a very funny looking fish from the deep sea that has often been memed in recent years. The common name blobfish can also refer to the species Psychroludes microporos, but for this video I will be focusing on the species Psychroludes marcetus. The blobfish was first described in 1926 and was given the scientific name Neophrynichthys marcetus to begin with, which was later changed to Psychroludes marcetus in 2008. The fish is often caught as bycatch by bottom trawling vessels, and it is a part of the genus Psychroludes, which are also known as spineless sculpins, which is one of the six genera under the family Psychroludidae, which includes sculpins. It is native to the waters of Southeast Pacific off the southern coast of Australia, and the fish has been measured at a maximum size of 30 centimeters, or around a foot or less in total length. The common name of the fish is the smoothhead blobfish, or blobfish for short. The depths in which these fish are found range from 600 to 1200 meters, where the pressure is almost 120 times more than that at the surface. The reason why the blobfish has a blob-like appearance is due to the fact that the fish has flesh that has a density just a little lower than the density of water, which allows for the fish to simply hover above the seafloor without using up too much energy when it's trying to swim. There are less than 10 blobfish specimens around the world, actually at collections or museums, all of which are found in Australia. There are only three of them which have been DNA barcoded, indicating that there's still a lot unknown about this fish. On the OBIS, or the Ocean Biodiversity Information System website, there is 213 records of occurrence of this species, ranging from the years 1972 to 2017. Most of the records are from the years 1983 to 1989, however. The blobfish has been called the world's ugliest animal by the Ugly Animal Preservation Society. Yes, that is a thing, apparently. And this may be unfair to this creature because the majority of the photographs taken of the organism are from when it is at the surface, not in its natural habitat. The animal barely has a skeleton or any muscle and lacks a swim bladder because if it had any of those things, it would likely die because they wouldn't be able to tolerate the extreme pressure. Many fish have this jelly blob-like flesh appearance because the best way to avoid the pressure is to simply have water as the majority of your structural support. If we were to suddenly teleport down to the depths at which the blobfish lives, we would be crushed and all of our organs would be turned into a paste. The blobfish gets a bad rep and truly isn't as ugly as people make it out to be. You can see it's all about context. In fact, the fish looks like this normally. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash that subscribe button if you haven't already and have a great day.